COVID-19 has so far been the cause of numerous deaths this year. It also has severely affected the economy of great nations and has put them under depth. Given its ravaging spreading speed, it's hard to surmise when it would totally be under control. As this virus is novel, we have a limited knowledge about it, which has resulted in various debates and concerns regarding its origin, passable and attainable strategies of tackling it, and how reliable the emerging vaccine can be in the future. The world is in a very confused state as a result of this pandemic, and it's hard to foresee where this could direct us in the future. Eritrea's approach towards curbing such pandemic is not a new phenomenon in the history of the country. A number of such pandemics were detected during the times of the protracted armed struggle for independence. Thanks to the experiences gained, the EPLF had successfully put the pandemics under control through pursuing firm strategies and tackling systems towards such occurrences. Hence, the Eritrean government's strategy has once again proven to be successful in curbing the novel COVID-19 pandemic in Eritrea. The government has been working around the clock to prevent the spread of the pandemic across the country. Eritrea has become successful in putting the pandemic under control owing to the effective government guidelines and active collaboration of government bodies and the general public. The policy of the Eritrean government is to prevent the virus from entering to the country. Fully aware of the grave danger that COVID-19 poses to all nationals, the government is fully focused on preventing the spread of the pandemic across the country. From the beginning until now, Eritrea has been pursuing preventative strategies in controlling the pandemic. The strategies include conducting societal awareness raising campaigns about the nature of the virus and its preventative mechanisms, raising awareness about social distancing and cleanliness, travel bans for all commercial flights to and from Eritrea, and enforcing lockdown guidelines and quarantine programs. The main objective of this strategy is mainly focused on breaking the transmission cycle of the pandemic and thus guarantee the safety of citizens in the country. The overall execution of the aforementioned strategies is pricey, demanding and requires a great deal of work. The already executed approaches have been successful and have potentially paved the way for future handling of the pandemic in an enhanced manner. The Ministry of Health has been actively engaged in disseminating continuous sensitization campaigns through the local media outlets in order to provide timely and full information to the general public. Since the first month of this year, we have prepared 270 spots for television and radio programs each. This program was mainly focused on providing instructions about the nature of the virus as well as symptoms and means of prevention approaches. In addition to this, there are call centers providing service 24-7. These call centers have been providing information about unfolding developments as well as new and timely information about the pandemic. So far, we have prepared about 1.5 million brochures, leaflets and others in efforts to raise awareness amongst the general public. The first COVID-19 case in Eritrea was registered on the 21st of March 2020, when an Eritrean national and permanent resident in Norway 
who fled to Asmara was diagnosed positive for COVID-19, and all the passengers on board were then quarantined, and all their expenses were covered by the government. On top of this, the government has been covering all expenses for other patients as well who are currently receiving medical treatments in the available quarantine centers in the country. The first case of COVID-19 in Eritrea was registered when a commercial flight passengers arrived here in Asmara. The government has been organizing quarantine programs for all passengers who traveled from countries badly affected by the disease. The first quarantine center was initially launched at Villajo Community Hospital. But at the moment, we have a number of quarantine centers in all over the six zones. Currently, there are 92 quarantine centers throughout the country. The overall diagnosis procedure in the quarantine centers takes an average of 21 days, and regular testing is conducted for 14 to 21 days. If patients are diagnosed positive, they would be transferred to other health facilities for further treatment. And if diagnosed negative, they would get tested twice before they're discharged. The arrival of nationals from abroad has been increasing from time to time. Hence, the Eritrean government has been following these developments very closely. Fully cognizant of the grave danger that COVID-19 potentially poses to the safety of all nationals as well as expatriates in the country, the Eritrean government has issued several guidelines. Despite this, however, important national development and service providing entities were allowed to continue their activities thus pursuing cautious measures. To this effect, the first guideline was issued on March 1, 2020. This guideline was issued in efforts to reiterate the importance of reinforcing organizational capacity, perseverance, and the spirit of working together so as to eventually curb the pandemic in Eritrea once and for all. The role of government bodies and the general public is quite commendable and has dramatically been a driving force for the implementation of the guidelines issued by the government. There are 92 quarantine centers across the country, and as notified on local media outlets, all medical and other expenses of the patients are covered by the government. When a patient is admitted to a quarantine center, we usually run two tests on a daily basis in case of new infections. Medical professionals are required to give a full-fledged report starting from themselves to the patients so as to monitor the prevention of infections in every patient. As we can see here, every quarantine center is equipped with medical instruments which are crucial in undergoing checkups during emergency cases. The whole process of quarantine has to be done cautiously, starting from testing to assisting suspects in the centers. Manpower, advanced medical instruments, as well as careful patient testing and assisting systems and the centers all together need to be met. Therefore, the Ministry of Health is equipped with the necessary medical equipment and is actively engaged in implementing the set out programs. So far, the National Lab is conducting the testing programs. But in the future, there are plans to expand the program throughout the country. The government has imported a number of PCR machines into the country and is providing medical service in all quarantine centers free of charge. Conducting tests, confirming suspected cases and quarantine programs all demand a scope of expertise and paramount prudence. The equal input of the professionals and medical instruments all together contributed to the success of the program. It's a wonder to witness the fact how these highly advanced machines are being efficiently operated by Eritrean professionals.
እዚያ ናይ መጀመርት አድመ ጸትና ታ ናይ መጀመርት አትቀበልና ኤክስትራክሽን ማሽን አውቶሜትድ ኤክስትራክተር This is an automated extractor We previously had one that operated manually but now we have this and this one right here is also an automated extractor This could process 12 samples within 56 minutes We have two machines of such kind but this one right here has the potential of processing 96 samples per 30 minutes So with both these machines we could have approximately 200 samples processed per hour. The extracted sample comes in this form and the final result where we know whether the suspected patient is negative or positive is identified after the extracted samples undergo through a detection process. The machines we previously used had the capacity of proving results for 60% per day, but now we have been able to verify results for 1,000 persons per day, thanks to the newly introduced equipment. The Eritrean government and every citizen should bear this burden until the virus is completely put under control. Every citizen should feel responsible to do their part in the fight against the coronavirus. Praise be to professionals who took part in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic.